How you doing? Oh my gosh. It's 10 o'clock. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Gergana Slovova, and I am one of the three owners of Energy Ballroom in Tempe. Good morning. My name is Nikolai Kralev, and I'm one of the owners of Energy Ballroom in Tempe. And, and you want to say the exact same thing? Uh, my name is Radomir Pashev. <laughs> I haven't, you know, I'm not awake yet. And welcome to another Chat It Up with Energy. The only reason I shave on Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> I am so excited we're doing this. It's been way too long. Good, that makes one of, one you, out of, one of us. <laughs> it's been a month and a half. I feel like it's been longer. It has been great not yeah. having to do that for two months. You are such a liar. It's you know you missed it. I did not. <laughs> I did not. Step out. Nobody. <laughs> Let's be honest, none of you missed that uh, Sunday morning thing. Uh, I do want to point out that uh, if, when we decided that we're going to do uh, another chat with you guys, maybe a couple weeks ago, and then I was randomly talking to a few of the students, Carol and Sue, and both of them were like, oh, we really enjoyed it, you guys should do it again. And I was like, funny you should mention, we are going to do it no, again. No, people yeah. knew that I was miserable during those uh, uh, episodes. <laughs> So the only way they were saying those nice things is to uh, uh, put me back to my misery again. Vanessa comments on our coffee mugs. I love yes. these. Aren't they fantastic? Oh, this channel up is sponsored by, is brought to you by <laughs> cool coffee mugs. Gilroy and Bosch. Don't do I'm just, I'm sorry, I probably misread it anyway. But anyway, so uh, it was, you know, just... Uh, you know, I wasn't excited to do it, but then I saw Nick and Gary completely <laughs> matching again for without even talking to each other. Yes, and it became even more unbearable for me to uh, sit through that thirty minutes torture. But let's get started. So, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. Now I'm, I'm gonna, drinking coffee. I'm gonna be very today. I feel <laughs> today I'm gonna, is yeah. Good. I'm gonna yeah. be in a mood today to. Uh, Interrupt. Yeah. All the time. I'm gonna pick a fight with both of you. It's so much more interesting. Um, no, but, but um, no, we <laughs> why we decided that it's time for another edition of Chat It Up is because we wanted to kind of update you on all the fun things we've been doing since we've been back in open and kind of some of the things we have coming up in October because it is getting a bit more exciting in the dance community in Arizona. Yeah, October will be Big man, actually. Yeah. A lot what, of do you agree? I think it's not going to be more than what thirty days, but <laughs> thirty-one, 31. 31 days. Thirty-one. It's, okay, it's, it's a normal it's month. A really month. Special month. It's yeah. not a. It's, a it's my birthday month. Oh, it's oh I birthday. forgot about that. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Should we go on vacation? Yes. Around the twentieth of October. But there's no way. I can't. I can't. Yeah. No, but uh, so how have you guys been feeling uh, at the studio since we've been out on the last few weeks? Better than before. Yes. Me. I mean, it gives some, us something to do. <laughs> Mainly, <laughs> Meryl Walker kind of, she's the like, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. Love. Make sure this is done, this is done. Yeah, I love my The project. only reason <laughs> we do have that studio is to give us something to do. Especially, well, I to give that. Project. Also, well, so in all seriousness, uh, the studio is being kind of getting back to, uh, you know, normal. Uh, and like the I, new normal. The new yeah. normal. Again, uh, like I said, that uh, we are back in business. We are back to business, even though that does not mean that we are back to normal. We have made a lot of adjustments, and I think everybody's kind of getting comfortable with the whole... I wearing agree. masks during lessons. Oh, absolutely. Uh, while, while in the studio, you know, regardless if you dance or practicing, sometimes people, uh, like I feel that they're comfortable now enough to not even take off the mask when they go to the restroom or something like this. So people are comfortable now. I think they're getting used to it. I agree. I think yeah. everybody's kind of getting more used to it. But also we've had now so many different the types of group classes, social dances. We also had practice rounds with the masks. So I think that it just definitely takes experience. You just get adjusted and you move on. Yeah. Uh, we did a couple of very small uh, kind of invitational dance to your max. Uh, this is the event that we do a competition simulations. 
Uh, we decide to keep it very small and in a way, you know, limit the amount of people we let in the ballroom, which has been the, the new thing right now mm -hmm. that we try to do pretty much as much as we can, but uh, with very limited, uh, you know, uh, amount of people in the studio. So therefore, some of the classes, you know, uh, are much smaller now, but we have more classes. So we pretty much yeah. cover everything just, you know, uh, less people. Yeah, and our Friday night yeah. function has been going really well as well. Yeah. We've been, yeah. uh, you know, it was very interesting because once we announced, I think this was our third one, fourth, fourth. fourth. but once, yeah. like, it was very, we were a little bit nervous to just see people back in the yeah. studio. We just didn't know if people were going to feel comfortable coming back, uh, you know, if they, we have a new format where the first class is just solo dancing and then the second class is partner dancing. Um, and you know the numbers have been good and we've had some fun during the social dancing yeah. um, It's just been really nice to just see people back in the studio and to see some life And honestly everybody has been very positive because they're just excited to be back dancing I think uh, And it's kind of uh, funny how we say like you know Oh the numbers are smaller you know and everything but Having 40 people like we're we become so used to having like a big event, right? Yes, yes. Oh my god, 300 yeah, people, yeah. uh, Christmas party, <laughs> <I know. laughs> 200 people, West Coast Swing class, 120 people, uh, Friday night class, and now yeah. we have like you know 40, and we're like, yeah, it's small. No, it's not. Like, you know, don't let's not be greedy. We're happy with uh, the numbers we have right now, and based on the current situations, I think pretty much that's absolutely uh, a normal thing to do like you have oh absolutely numbers. i agree i think slowly getting you know used to think for people to come back to the studio i think it's important that we face yeah. ourselves it's not that every friday night you have like new like new not necessarily new people but three or four people come right out, yes like yeah. three, yes. Four, three four each friday night we so have that's some good. brand new people too because nikki Archie, yes. is at the front desk so he's the one who greets everybody <laughs> so we have like 10 brand new people just yeah. last Friday. Or yeah, I mean, new. that's fantastic if you yes. think about it. People, you know, people who've never been to the studio before, it's nice to, you know, get to know the ballroom dancing world. Yes. Yeah. And we end up doing something, three of us, that we haven't done. Hello. <laughs> we <laughs> haven't done. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> there's something like I'm not, I don't know about. <laughs> like, we actually stay and dance with, uh, you know, our students. The uh, whole night. The whole night. Yeah. So. We used to like, you know, teach all the time, every day, all day, so then, you know, we don't stay until the end of the party, we just let people have their own fun, but now we can use that fun, I like it. And we started doing something new also, on a Friday night, which oh, is, yes. I guess Gagan is more excited than me to announce it. I'm always more excited <laughs> than everybody to announce it. So we have this really cool idea uh, to spotlight some of our competitive students. So we decided to do this new project uh, where every Friday night we're gonna have one or two performances by some of our competition students. And so far we've had Rado perform with Supertier last Friday and this past Friday mm -hmm. he performed with Susie. And it's just such a great opportunity for the rest of the dance community to kind of see what competitive dancing looks like for those of them who have and never what, been to a competition. And what movements they also do. I mean, the difference yes. between competitive dancing and just the social dancing. Yeah. People get inspired. He's so quiet, I don't <laughs> know what to do. You said that he's gonna oh, fight with us today, so... Well, do you know what's very like... interesting? I was talking to Susie. So Susie uh, mm -hmm. uh, performed samba and she dances at the silver level. So she performed samba with Nikki mm -hmm. and one of the things she told me, which I didn't know, is that she actually had been dancing for a while, but then she got into competitive dancing when she saw somebody else perform at a studio oh, event. Really? And, it's, and that's what I talked about, I was like, I think it's so much more relatable when you see normal people in front of you dancing. It's one thing to watch Dancing with the Stars, it's a little bit difficult to be like, this could be me. But when you see someone at the studio you dance at, see them, what they do, and then they get to compete, I think it's just so much more exciting. Yes. Please talk! <laughs> well, you didn't yeah. ask me a question. Was that a question? How do you feel about performing on Friday night? <laughs> good. <laughs> and it was that an answer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. How no. do you think it benefits so. our competitive students? Performing in the Friday night? Yes. I think it's great for them because most of them are always nervous. Oh, 
to dance in front of people. Even though them, oh, she asked you, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, is, back to. <laughs> what is your opinion on the benefits to our students to perform during our Friday night function? Like health benefits, exercise. Any kind of benefits. <laughs> of course, it's good. I mean, but uh, why? You know, well, first of all, most of them are about to compete uh, very soon here in town. We have that uh, one day event, we're very excited. Yeah. Uh, NRG will represent strong yes. with a lot of people. So, not being in front of an audience for like seven, eight months, uh, regardless of how experienced you are or how well you know your routines, it will affect your performance. So right now, like, you know, putting some of the uh, competitors uh, back on the spotlight, I think it will you know, given back that feeling of being in front of people and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's good, we should keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think Gargan is going to perform this Friday. Uh, by me? Yes. yes, I'm going to you? perform by Gary's going to be doing a solo. Oh, well, there's a solo cast, so... <laughs> yes, I'm going to be working on my belly dancing skills. <laughs> oh! Well, we should ask By the way, way, we have a couple of new classes, uh, just to inform you. Uh, of course, you can see all the information on our Facebook page and website, but uh, we used to have West Coast Swing only on Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to have it every Sunday. As well. And the cool part is it that, uh, you know, my God, Barry, uh, who used to have his big, big West Coast Swing class uh, up in the North Valley, like Central, Central Phoenix. Phoenix. Central Phoenix. Um, he, For us, this is very fun. Right. <laughs> he decided he wants to move his class to Energy Ballroom because the, the studio is better, and of course, and bigger. Just everything's better. Yeah. So uh, he's going to be having his West Coast Wing two of the Sundays, and Robert Campos, the guy who teaches the Tuesday night, will have two, uh, two more classes on uh, the remaining Sunday. So that's kind of exciting. Yeah, every because, Sunday, West Coast Wing. Country dancing. So they rent the studio as a private event. We are uh, not associated with that event. They just rent it, right? So like, they just. Oh, yeah. She's giving a life for something else. Am I missing something? You're doing great. Uh, but keep talking, please. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, any questions towards our audience? And by the way, if you feel that you want to be part of the conversation, uh, don't hesitate, just immediately uh, send us a text, send us a, a message, we will respond and now to that. Uh, <laughs> we really don't have anything uh, specific that we want to tell you, that's why I was, uh, my opinion was like we should not have that today. What do you mean we have so many upcoming things? Your favorite Sometimes. holiday of the year yes. is coming up, Rado. I guess know, which I one is it? I want to share our that plans. Could be a question for them. To guess which one is Guess what Rado's <laughs> favorite holiday is. There's three holidays coming up, so I guess. Gilgana's yeah. birthday. Gilgana's birthday. <laughs> oh, I wasn't counting on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not a national holiday. <laughs> By the way. It's a studio holiday. That but please, so no. Funny. No, I don't want that. No, please, God, no. No. Uh, <laughs> what is so funny, Rado? That somebody was uh, there. No, no, no. Like the other day, uh, I walked into a store for like looking for some uh, uh, furniture and stuff, and I saw the Christmas trees are out, <laughs> and I'm like, I already people kidding me? It's middle of September. Yeah, that's a bit Christmas much. trees. That is a bit. It's much. insane. They're preparing early, like months ahead. What about Christmas. Halloween? Like. And nobody cares about that. Thanksgiving, no, Rado cares they about that. They right now combining it, which is the bizarre part. You go into the store, it's like, oh, Christmas, oh, a skeleton. It's, it's like, <laughs> why do you want to have those two images when you walk into you a store? You haven't seen a turkey anywhere? Uh, oh my god, turkey? it's like, there's anyway? sure a skeleton and a turkey. I just yeah. going it's just going It's ridiculous. Let's stop this. Come on. Let's stop this. <laughs> Come on. Let's do a petition, people. Like, you can't have Christmas trees before. Uh, at, at least, least November for, Well, you can start selling them in November, but September is a bit too early. <laughs> oh well. But so, uh, what else is coming up? Well, in October, let's see. I think Radu should share the good news about his favorite holiday. Well, no, so, okay, yes. I love decorating the studio for Halloween. Uh, do I go overboard a little bit? <laughs> it's a point of view. I believe I'm doing just enough. Maybe I can go a little no, extra this year. But anyway, 
uh, the cool part is that uh, October 31st, this year is on Saturday. And yes, we are going and we are planning to have a beautiful party. Mm -hmm. uh, this one in particular, because we usually go with a lot of people, this one will be limited. It will be exclusive. Uh, we are planning right now to probably release not more than 75 tickets. We're talking about 9,000 square feet dance studio, so don't freak out that 75 people is a lot. Actually, it's the minimum. We're allowed to have up to 150 in the studio. So we're going down. We're probably gonna release the tickets sometime in the beginning of October. Uh, but it's going to be a, a masquerade ball. See what I did there? I like yeah. it. Uh, we're gonna have our costume contest. We're gonna uh, play some games. We're gonna have a fun class. We're gonna do. We're gonna teach you a class. We're gonna teach you a dance that you will never do it again. <laughs> That's been the theme. Uh, but I'm excited. Yeah, it's exciting. People are dressing up. Uh, going crazy. I love it. Those that love, love to dress up. Yeah. They yeah. <laughs> turn super Coming. <laughs> look, look at them. No, no, there's a difference no, no, between no. dressing up and... So on one side, Ronald loves Halloween. On the other side, Nikki does not want to even have that holiday mention. So <laughs> it's like balance, the balance is very in you. And the balance in between. Yeah, I'm like, whatever. I think going. we should dress up as each other. So I will dress up as Gary. Gary will dress up as, as you, as and Nikki, I'll be just me. And Nikki will dress up as me. Let's so do right. it. Like, just. That would be easy, then. How old are you? I'm just not tall enough. Whoever but, is me needs to wear And I'm not blonde enough, but. Whoever is me needs to wear But I don't know. Nikki is the one. Wait, wigs. I think for the. Um, we're going to do that. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, Adam and Edith actually one year dressed up as uh, as you too. Uh, yeah, as you and I. That was pretty fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about. It's not a masquerade. It's mask array ball. If somebody says it's masquerade. It's <laughs> this. Got it. Got yeah. it. Anyway. We're very specific on the spelling. Yeah. So it's, yeah. But uh, do you know what's uh, interesting? No. Red, yeah, please. Would tell you like to know both of you what's interesting? Because I don't know if you actually know. But yeah, they're really, starting a class. Is that well, what you're going to say? One thing that has gotten so much better is that we're all on the same page about what's happening in October. Um, I just talked to her Bridget, yesterday. Yes, Bridget <laughs> is starting a line dancing class for the month of October on Monday night at 7. And she's going to teach all kinds of different Halloween line dances. So, obviously, a thriller and uh, some other fun things. It's going to be a great class for the entire family. And it's going to be fantastic because we'll also be able to do those line dances during our Halloween party. So, um, I, overall, uh, the whole studio is just slightly more excited about October. I like the energy that's... The energy. Yeah. And the but studio... You should say the M R G. G. Very long G. <laughs> yeah, but... October's gonna be a good month. And something else also is happening in October. Um, Gargana's birthday. No, stop it. <laughs> stop it. No. Yeah, Gargana's birthday. For those of you who does not know, no, don't know when her birthday is, try to guess. Yeah. I'm sure you it's can go to her Facebook, Facebook page yeah. and I think it's see it. Yeah. But. Well, we're having a competition oh. coming up, actually, October 11, which we're very, very excited. It is the first event um, in a couple months. <laughs> in a few months, actually. I mean, there has Here been. Here in some, Yes, there has yeah. been some competitions um, on the East Coast, uh, but Midwest, this is the first, uh, the first one in Arizona. And uh, Janelle Moranto and Susie Nemchek are the organizers, and they always do a fantastic job with the event. Um, they obviously were going back and forth um, on deciding whether to host the event. Um, and they did a, you know, they talked to a few of the teachers and just people who might be interested and they kind of, uh, you know, listen to what the students want to do and everybody was just excited to perform. So we're looking forward to it. We yes. have a ton of students who are going to do pro-am events. Um, it's very exciting because they also have team formation uh, oh, that's competitions. Nice. So we're going to have a few of our formation teams from the studio performing and competing. One of Rado's teams is going to perform. What is the... Next year. Uh, <laughs> next year. Uh, <laughs> next year. <laughs> next year. <laughs> next year. Yeah. 
but uh, they're taking all the precautions. Um, obviously, they're going to be limiting the people in the ballroom. Uh, they're requiring masks. They're going to be limiting uh, the amount of dancers on the floor at the same time. Um, so we're really looking forward to it. We're going to have some new people that never competed before. Yeah. We're excited yes. for little newcomers. Um, so anything else about the event? Um, no, like I, I think it's going to be very successful uh, and yeah. people are excited and getting, yeah. you know, getting nervous and I love that energy, uh, people kind of getting back into their competitive uh, yeah. spirit yeah. and uh, trying to, you know, improve and work hard and sweat. Some people like, you know, like new costumes and stuff, so like everybody is on page and uh, it's great, I, I love it, that's what we're doing, that's, you know, I love that. Yeah. Actually, do you know what I was thinking the other day? Because I was obviously I started figuring out what dresses I'm gonna wear because I'm gonna uh, obviously obviously. But well, let me figure out what no, pants but, should I wear. Because <laughs> it's been a while, even you know, for us as professionals to be on the floor with our students. So it, yes. honestly, it is even exciting for me to just be able to you know go out and perform. Last time we danced was in February. We had the competition in Tucson, and since then, oh, for me it was in March. What I had a competition in March. Oh, you did that. Yeah, yeah. And but that's it. It's been a very long time, yes. so I think that we're all, all the professionals and students are excited. I think we're more excited. Everybody's more excited to just put their costumes on again. Yeah. You can do it at home. It's just it's at not home. the same. <laughs> it's not just doing it at home. You have to, you know. People need to see you right now. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yeah. We will dress up. We will dress up. Um, Most, like I was going to say that, you know, like, getting ready for the come, most of the people are coming back, taking more lessons, mm -hmm. which has been great because, you know, obviously the evening classes are fun, but, you know, we would like to see uh, people during the day in the studio and, you know, it's, it's been getting better and better. I would say my lessons are around 80% back, uh, Nikki's I think We're around the same, yeah. and yeah. the best part is, I mean, like, yes, we do a, kind of a function like a normal studio for the last month and a half. Mm -hmm. Uh, with the privates and with the classes and everything, and the best part is, we all say nothing yeah, happened. Yes. You know what I mean? Like everybody's taking the precautions. Nobody got infected. Everybody is good, so we are very safe, uh, and that gives us confidence that what we're doing is good and it's the right thing to do. I we're going to keep doing it because it works. That's the thing. It works, so we're doing it. Doesn't matter if you like it or not. We want to keep all of our patients <laughs> safe. We just want to keep dancing. We want to be open and we want to, you know, cre create an environment where all of you can come in and just, you know, enjoy themselves, do something different, dance, because you always feel better after, first of all, any kind of physical activity, but also, you know, dancing just creates that uh, great feeling within you. And I think everybody feels better after they come and they dance for an hour, a few hours. It's, been it's hours also great, great, great exercise. Yes, it is. Oh my Especially God. after being sitting on the couch for... Nikki, if you listen to Nikki, he's been like sitting on the couch for five months doing nothing but watching Netflix. Which probably... Well, just that for the first month and a half. Probably. <laughs> like for 60 days. Maybe two. So like... Thank God for Netflix. <laughs> What about that movie last night? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, we went to see... What we saw the tenor. You actually went somewhere? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we first movie. time in the movie theaters. Oh wow. Ten What's the name of the movie? Tenon. Oh. So, first of all... I don't even remember the I, name. It, it will take me another two, three times to see that movie until I actually figure out what the heck. It was interesting. Really interesting movie. So loud. It was so loud. Maybe because we haven't, you know, like watching TV at home, you don't watch too loud, even though I do, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I don't know why. I have no idea. Yes, yeah, just moving, yeah. moving, just you know. working. And yes, Joe, it's working. We're going to keep doing it. Uh, Where's working? Like the, she the, said that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ashley! <laughs> yes. Come on, Ashley. Let's go. Let's oh, dance, yeah. girl. Hi. Let's go. Here the yes, baby? We are super excited as well about Phoenix Fall Festival. Um, do you know what's interesting? I uh, for um, every showcase that we do, I have a, a ladies formation team, and obviously we started preparing for our spring showcase uh, in May, which didn't happen. Um, but now we are uh, we just started the classes to prepare for Phoenix Fall Festival, and I was telling Rado yesterday that 
it's just I didn't realize how much I miss teaching these formation classes because it's just so much fun and it's just all the girls and we just get to do a little bit of a combo of jazz and ballroom <laughs> dancing yeah. and it's just fun to do all kinds of uh, yeah. dancing. I'm excited. Yeah. Tell yeah. one more thing I want us to really mention because we've made a huge effort is our social media campaign. So danger guys. Yes, we would like to thank everybody for all the love he's receiving on Google. Well, so uh, a week and a half ago, we started uh, talking to our students that uh, the fact that we are, you know, as good as we are and popular as we are as a studio does not give us the excuse not to have any Google reviews or Yelp reviews. So, uh, all of you guys, Please don't just assume that everybody knows what we do and who we are. <laughs> Think about it. If you're a new person, you want to go check up a new restaurant, you will check the reviews first, right? <laughs> and if we don't have enough. So anyway, we started a campaign and I realized that no matter how many times I tell my students, <laughs> please go ahead and do, uh, write a review. My students are the laziest. All of you, uh -huh. all of you, only my students. Nikki students, they went and they uh, wrote a review. Gary students did. None of mine. I think now you have two. Two uh, out of 20. <laughs> no, those, very, I don't think they're taking you. Those. Not really. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but they, they don't take you seriously, Robert. Joe, Christmas showcase, we don't know yet what's happening. Uh, we will wait a little bit. We're working on a couple of ideas. Yes. Uh, and cool ideas. Mm -hmm. They're cool. They're yeah. definitely a little different than what we are used to do uh, for Christmas, but we're working on it. We will. Right now, let's focus on Halloween. One thing at a time. Yeah? Yes, I was just gonna say one thing. At a time. <laughs> the Halloween. Yeah. Um, also, are you making right fun of me right now? Because oh I yes. You say Halloween. <laughs> well, now summer. that we have a student who actually works at, what does she do? Hi, what Marietta. Hannah there? Who? Hannah. She does, remember she... Um, she, took, she helps people with a speech impediment, is that what mm -hmm. the word is? Uh, to, uh, you know, pronounce the words correctly. And she is having fun with me and Nikki. Or maybe uh, mostly you. Well, she started out about... to say the look correctly. Yeah. You remember? Yes, I do remember. Say it. No. Say la, 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 la. la. Okay, just... that's too much. <laughs> that is too much for us to yeah. But in fact, no, you're right. right. For the last month and a half, we got some new people in the studio. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's funny. Yeah, that's that's cool. I like that. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, we've had some new people coming in. Also, because so I'll tell you a secret. None of us watches Dancing with the Stars, but we've <laughs> had a few new people who mentioned that they actually called in and decided they want to take dance lessons because they've thought about it for a while and then Dancing with the Stars premiered yeah. and they're like, this is it, we're doing it. So, um, I, I think they're on season 29 or something. I don't know actually, but there are so yeah. many seasons. Season I used 29? to watch it, I, I don't know, a lot. I used to watch it, but then at one oh, point it became a bit too modern and hip-hop-ish for me. But I think it's yeah. still inspiring for a lot of people. I was watching it when, uh, you know, Almost every professional was a friend of mine, so I knew the people. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like, it was kind of more fun, fun, you know, with Anna Tribunskaya was there, Karina, Jonathan Roberts. So, you know, like, and that was fun. And then it somehow went but way it, too many, way too commercial type of professionals yeah. start showing up. to more professionals who are not just good at ballroom and Latin dancing, but a little bit of jazz and yeah. modern. and. I think back in the day, the professionals were actually finalists of America. And is it okay. really 29? Season 29? See, yes, see, I was right. Oh, wow. Okay, I read that correctly. Okay. Yeah. But, but they started in 2005. Oh my God. So that's, I mean, that's a long way uh, show. Yeah. Obviously still good ratings because they yeah. keep going with that. So final question. <laughs> and guys, go ahead and use the last minute to just uh, uh, type a very quick comment. Now, I personally think we don't need to do this. I don't need to shave on Sunday morning. We don't need to have the child have <laughs> the energy. This is my personal opinion. What do I know? I, you know, those two things we need to have it at least once a month. I think once a month is good. I don't know. Let's I say, vote for once a month. 
Let's say who is. I vote uh, for every Sunday. No! Okay. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Let's see, Team Rado. Let's not have ever again chat it up with MMG. Ooh. Let's see who's gonna be there. I think it will be a team meeting. And then, <laughs> how many of you think that we should keep doing this? Once a month. Once a month mm -hmm. at least. Once a month. Uh, and of course, we're gonna have guests. Uh, yes. Today I feel that uh, we had so much to say, even though Rado didn't think that, but I feel that we had plenty to talk about. <laughs> Did we say everything we had to? <laughs> <laughs> and when has been the case that you have nothing to talk about? You always have things to talk uh, about. Okay, everybody's loving your shirt, by the way. There's like a um, comments on your shirt. Yes. We once, both... a, once a month. Ooh, Rado, once a month. <laughs> Once a month. I think yeah. it's good for us because we're working on our English. I take this also as an exercise for my English <laughs> speaking skills. So you're gonna have well, a maybe you should try no, 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 no. You should talk in Spanish. Oh, so you Spanish can practice, is you killing can me. practice with Spanish and then Rado will be just like as a back and It will take me two hours to say seven sentences. So it's gonna be a very long show. Okay, all of you I see here you're joining Team Gary and Team Nikki. First of all, I don't know, do you realize what you're doing to yourself right now? Nobody's <laughs> taking my side. Come on. I need one person to say like, yes, you guys are terrible. Let's not do it again. Which means when he sees you in the studio. Oh, yeah. I need one person to be on my team. No, Come on. No, it's, okay. it's okay. I need one person. Suzanne, I have you for a lesson tomorrow, I think. <laughs> and, so, you, are you, and you joining the, the evil group here, Nikki and Gary? What are you doing? Well, the best said the other day he would have a lesson with me, so... We're the realistic group. Once a month, I think it's pretty realistic. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we thank really enjoyed this. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we will see you hopefully very soon at the studio and uh, in a few weeks on um, Chat It Up. Yeah. Yes, thank, thank you guys. Thank you Be guys. safe. Yes. And yeah. see you on the floor. No, See you guys. See you. Enjoy the See rest the of the day. Bye bye. We can keep talking for a couple of minutes after Ding that. Ding.